The holidays can be a major struggle for those who are trying to lose weight and maintain a healthy lifestyle, but there are ways you can avoid falling off track. There's no hiding from the mashed potatoes, delicious desserts, and a few extra pounds here or there. But what you put into your body, whether that be healthy or not, and the amount you consume during the holiday season is what will determine how you feel. Registered dietitian Kathleen Escania reminds her clients that despite trying to lose weight, it's important to remember to enjoy the holidays. But typically what I talk to people about is really not going into the holiday with a diet mindset because really what we want to do is focus on maintaining weight rather than trying to lose weight. Being around friends and family a lot of times can make things more challenging on your body's food intake. So when you go in trying to lose weight, things just get a little bit more challenging, right? Because you're going to be around friends, family, food, and it just makes it harder. Your body knows best and it's important to listen. And one of the biggest things I like to talk about is really listening to your body so your body knows best. It'll let you know when you're hungry and it'll also let you know when you're full. Other ways to keep up on your health this season is by maintaining your routine. A lot of times family can mess up your routine, but working on like if you exercise in the morning, keeping that regimen, because that can also help kind of counteract some of those holiday treats that we might have. Mm -hmm. Remembering to follow your meal routine can be a huge factor as well. So one big thing I would recommend is not skipping meals. If you skip meals, you're more likely to get super hungry in between, and that kind of lends us to overeating. In terms of food, color is key. Load up on the veggies rather than the high sodium, high carb dishes. Just make half of your plate those vegetables because those will help fill you up. Um, and they generally have less calories compared to things like stuffing and the gravy and the mashed potatoes and the sweets, of course. And if you're chefing it up in the kitchen, try substituting some ingredients for healthier alternatives. If you're in control of bringing some food, then you can kind of make it a little more healthy. So um, if you can lighten up a dish by using like fat-free Greek yogurt instead of mayonnaise or using a sugar alternative instead of regular sugar, um, that can kind of help cut down some of the calories and help prevent some of that weight gain that we usually see. The drinks are what get you. Alcoholic beverages tend to have a large amount of calories that will add up in your body. Not drinking your calories, so maybe thinking about doing sparkling water or flavored water instead, because um, a lot of times we can really get extra calories in through drinks, which can really lead to that excess weight or those weight gains during the holidays. The holidays are a time to enjoy yourself, so no need to avoid certain foods. Rather, have a strong sense of self-control and enjoy them in smaller portions. I wouldn't want to say avoid anything, but maybe having smaller portions like we just mentioned or doing like the one bite, you know, get to try a little bit of everything so that way you feel satisfied and you felt like you got to get a little bit of everything, but no need to overindulge and fill up your whole plate with it. Let this holiday season really be a holiday. Enjoy yourself, but just know once the day passes, it's time to get back to work. In the digital studio, Kelsey O'Donnell, 9 on your side.